Hello and welcome back to Rock Cycle. How are you doing? Today we're going to be talking about Sam Fender's debut album and that is Hypersonic Missiles. So let's get into it. Now after the success of his EPs, winning a Brit Award, Sam Fender has now brought us a full debut album. It's full of nice, simple, guitar-focused indie rock with a bit of a folk rock edge. Now, he has drawn with this album a lot of comparisons to Bruce Springsteen. Now, while at the same time there's only one Bruce Springsteen and he can't ever really compete with a man on his level, I think the comparisons are very fitting. They are very comparable styles and this album from Sam Fender almost feels like an album straight out of the 70s and 80s. Perhaps this is just dad rock for the new generation. The album's full of nice, easily enjoyable music that sounds familiar even after the first listen. Now, this is a very politically charged album, so I guess we do have to talk about that. I personally do quite like my political music in general, but this political and social commentary like this can be a very dangerous game to play. While yes, it can make some people love you and appreciate your music a lot more because it adds a new dimension to it, it can be a bit dodgy if you do views that aren't as well received. You can put some fans off you before they even get a proper chance to listen to you if they disagree with you politically. But with that being said, I do think Sam has stuck to fairly safe areas. And by that I mean it's sort of things that anyone with a bit of common sense can agree with. And it's sort of a very well-known issue such as racism's bad or suicide is an epidemic. So while he brings important attention to these areas, he hasn't done it in a very off-putting way that some people would not enjoy. On the whole, I feel he has achieved his target of bringing these issues to a wider audience. Well, the issues already known to a wide audience is all things that like everyone knows about really but more of his point of view and his way of talking about them it's been brought to a wider audience and i think he's done it quite well i have seen a few people complain about the way he talks about it but on the whole it's been pretty well received and i personally think it's quite a good thing to add an extra level of meaning to your songs because despite being quite a big fan of indie rock and that sort of style of music a lot of it really lacks some proper substance behind the music. A lot of it's just fun, easy listening songs like la di da di da It's nice, it's enjoyable, but the lyrics mean nothing. Now, I'm not saying every indie rock band is like that. I'm not saying every artist is like that, etc. I do feel a lot of people do put time and effort into their music, but across the whole, indie rock is not the best at doing it. And I do really like when the lyrics mean something. It helps you relate to the song, it helps you appreciate the song, and gives it a new edge and makes it a lot more enjoyable rather than just music, but maybe as art, I guess I'd say. Now let's talk about some of my favorite songs. First of all, let's go for the title track, Hypersonic Missiles. It's a good, fun song. I feel this is one of the most Bruce Springsteen-est of the songs on the album. And if you don't really know Sam Fender at all, well, I imagine you do if you're watching this video, but if you don't, that's a good one to check out and it helps summarize what it's all about just in one song. We Will Talk is another one of my favorites. It's really got that Britpop vibe to it, which I quite enjoy. And it sounds like it's something straight off the in between a soundtrack. If you're a UK fan, you may get that, but I feel that reference is probably lost to everyone else. It definitely feels like it's going to be a classic festival anthem. Borders is another song I quite like. Musically, it sounds a bit summery, quite uplifting, and I do quite enjoy it. And it naturally transitions into a sax solo, which isn't the only time a saxophone is used on the album, which is it's quite a rarity. But that's until you start listening to the lyrics of the song and it's a lot darker and it sort of brings the song into a new, darker area. Two People's a nice stripped back acoustic song with a lot of emphasis on Sam Fender's voice and he's got quite a talented voice at that. Dead Boys is probably the most emotionally hitting song in the album. With its focus on male suicide, it starts off almost like a slow acoustic nothing but thief style song, then moves halfway through to a much more energetic song. And given the dark meaning and story behind the song, I do almost feel bad that I do quite enjoy the music and I want to sing along to it. It's, I don't know, I feel that's a bit, it's a bit of a strange mix if you understand me. This album really is standout music and I do quite regret not being a fan of Sam Fenders for much longer before this. He's often categorised as indie rock, I see a lot of people say, but I think personally he sounds to me a lot more like country rock and folk rock. And maybe I'm looking in the wrong places and listening to the wrong people, but you don't seem to get a lot of that these days, despite a lot of classic country rock songs being very popular still. Songs like Summer of 69 and Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. 
So maybe I'm just not aware of this kind of music as much, but I think it's a bit time to have a bit of a revival of it. I do quite enjoy it and other people seem to too. So it's good to bring it back because there don't seem to be too many other big artists that out there that are doing that kind of music anymore. So let's get it back. Let's get it in for a new generation. So that all being said, I'm giving the album four stars out of five. It's good, it's fun, it's catchy, it's easily enjoyable, and I do quite like it. It's not quite my personal taste of music, so maybe that's why I'm giving it a lower rating than I should do, but four out of five seems to be also roughly the average of most other reviews I've had a quick look at online before doing this. What are your thoughts on this album? Give me a comment down below. Do you like it, dislike it, think it's okay? Whatever you think, let me know down below. And while you're on YouTube clicking about, do you want to click subscribe and like? That would be greatly appreciated. Hope you enjoyed the video and as always, I'll see you in the next one.